Parents who have a child with a life-threatening allergy will do anything to keep their children safe. And while treating a peanut allergy with peanuts themselves seems kind of crazy, a lot of children and parents are finding that it's worth it. Have a look. When Matthew was about three years old, he had picked out a peanut butter cookie and had a bite and immediately spit it out. A couple weeks later, we went back and immediately upon taking a bite, just vomited up the mouthful of cookie. I thought if you didn't have hives or you didn't have a swelling mouth or something like that, it couldn't be an allergy, but it, it was. And since then, we've had to be really careful. Having a child with peanut allergy affects our family every day. You're thinking about who's, whose house they're going to from for play dates and sending him to school. You think about the bus ride there and he could die by eating the child peanut next to him. The Food Allergy Treatment Center has been a lifesaver for us. The basis of the program is to orally desensitize patients who have allergies to peanut. We are having patients come in and ingest initially very small amounts of peanut flour containing a, a set amount of peanut protein and increasing that amount over time so that they become desensitized to peanut. Our main goal of treatment is not to necessarily cure them of their peanut allergy, but to desensitize them. I'm glad to be taking the food allergy program and less nervous about being around peanuts. I think it's given all of us a lot of hope that it, it'll be normal in our house. Joining us now via Polycom from West Hartford, Connecticut is Dr. Jeffrey Factor, the medical director of the New England Food Allergy Treatment Center. And I'm glad you're doing this because we've talked about peanut allergies on the show before and even some of the controversies at a school because some of these kids, if they're exposed to even a whiff of this peanut, can have a life-threatening reaction. So this is a huge option for people. Yes, we, we think it is, and we've been very encouraged with our experiences so far in, in being able to increase the amount of peanut that would otherwise cause a severe reaction. And we fortunately have not had to treat any emergency reactions of any severity. We haven't had to use injectable epinephrine to treat them, and I think this has a lot to do with the fact that we're starting with very, very small doses and building up very slowly. No, you're doing this mainly on kids, right? Do you have any adults in your program? Well, we, we have, uh, we, we, as, as you mentioned, we're doing mostly kids. We have one um, uh, college student uh, who's about 20, 21. But we are open to, to having adults. And, and obviously for adults, they're not going to outgrow the, this, their peanut allergy. So they would be... Uh, ideal, you know, candidates for treatment. And I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but as Dr. Factor mentioned, you know, they may be starting off with about one one thousandth of a peanut, and you see those little crumbs there with the goal, and correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong, Dr. Factor, that maybe they could actually have one and a half or two peanuts so that if, God forbid, they ever ate something that maybe had 10, 12 peanuts in it, they wouldn't have a life-threatening reaction. And so this is a process that occurs over time. If your child suffers from peanut allergies, talk to the experts, because a program like Dr. Factors, these can be successful. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me.